You just heard J.D. Vance repeat his claims about Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio. I want to go live now to Springfield and talk to the mayor, uh, Rob Rue. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, we have a lot to get to, but I want to know, first of all, about what's going on at this time. Your schools, city buildings have been facing threats. The local college had to cancel events today. The immigrant community has been facing a lot of attacks. I, I want to just ask about how things are going broadly in Springfield right now. Dave, thanks, thanks for having me on. Um, it's, it's just obviously a very difficult time. You know, we have been shined under a spotlight that is so bright that it's, it's hard to see some of the things that we actually need to be focusing on. Mm. And that's been difficult. For sure. But, uh, you know, we're concerned about the security in our community and we're focused on that right now. And when you say you're concerned about uh, the security in your community and focus on that, can you elaborate about what security threats? I mean, we know about some of the bomb threats at schools, hospitals, uh, colleges. Is there anything else that you want to share? We've had three consecutive days of threats, not uh, to myself personally and our family, but uh, as well as uh, the other commissioners and some other uh, officials. So uh, it's, like I said, definitely a, a high stress time uh, that is just really difficult to handle right now. Yeah, to be I, I'm sure. Uh, what are the nature of the threats? Extremely negative and, and you know, harmful and, and just extremely disruptive. And does it, is it specific to the allegations without evidence of eating cats and dogs? Is it more broadly about the Haitian immigrants? Can you be a little bit more specific? Well, I think it's, you know, I think just because everything is stirred up so much, people are responding according to their own way they respond. And a lot of it's unhealthy. Uh, you know, there's, there's real concerns with what we're dealing with here prior to this whole spotlight that's happened. And, uh, and we won't deny that. There's been infrastructure strain. There has been, uh, you know, it's just been uh, overwhelming at times, but we're trying as a community to lead well through this and put our arms around the situation. Uh, but what has happened in the last three days has caused a more significant strain on our community. I want you to listen uh, again to part of what J.D. Vance told me this morning. My constituents have brought approximately a dozen separate concerns to me. Ten of them are verifiable and confirmable, and a couple of them I talk about because my constituents are telling me firsthand that they're seeing these things. Mayor Rue, they're your constituents as well, and you, you live in the community. Do you have any confirmed reports of Haitian migrants eating dogs and cats in Springfield? We do not. And I think you highlighted earlier on one of your interviews that, you know, we, the Sheriff's Department did go back through the last 11 months and we just have no verifiable uh, claim that this has actually happened. We've had a complaint, it was looked into, and then we couldn't get, I guess they couldn't call back or reach the person that made the complaint. You know, it would, it would be helpful. You know, we are boots on the ground. We are here with our constituents. The governor of the state of Ohio, Mike DeWine, recognizes and trusts the local officials to share the proper information and believes us. It would be helpful for those that are, are uh, spinning Springfield into this swirl to understand that you can trust us. We are telling the truth to our community. We are not ignoring the strain that the immigration has put in our community, but we are here to try to put our arms around it and to work as peaceably as possible to uh, have our community secure and safe and and uh, thriving and moving forward, just like we have been over the last decade. 8,000 new jobs have come to our community over the last 10 years. We are a community that comes together and works together. And these are the things that we want to talk about, Springfield to the nation, not the things that we have to keep uh, telling the press like, hey, your pets are safe in Springfield, Ohio. They absolutely are. It's just, it's, it's crazy I have to keep saying that. You said um, people keep spinning things that, that aren't true. It's crazy you have to keep saying that. And you said that Mike DeWine, the governor, has been very supportive not only of uh, this program and of uh, the Haitians in your community because you said that uh, a big part of the reason they are there is because there are jobs that employers need to fill and they are filling those jobs. You didn't mention 
Senator Vance, who of course currently represents your community and your broader state in uh, the United States Senate. Have you heard from him directly? I have not heard from him directly. I believe somebody within his office has reached out to the city uh, more than once. Uh, so uh, I've not had a personal conversation uh, with either of the candidates or Vance and, and, and that's fine. Uh, what we do need is we need peace and rest in our community. We need to be able to focus on the concerns that we've had here and also how we are moving forward as well. Uh, when I, you said something about Governor Mike DeWine has been supportive of the program, mm -hmm. Governor Mike De DeWine has been supportive of what we're going through and has helped us with resources, with coordinated efforts to uh, you know, help secure our community. As any governor in any state should be looking after the cities and their communities if there is help needed in the uh, local municipalities. Um, when you were speaking to uh, a local affiliate there this week, you said all these federal politicians that have negatively spun our city, they need to know they're hurting our city, and it was their words that did it. You heard me mention that to J.D. Vance, um, and he denied responsibility for having anything to do with the threats that you just talked about that have been going on uh, over the last three days. What's your response? Let, so I said this earlier in another interview, it would be helpful if they understood the weight of their words and how they could harm a community like ours. Again, I say the light has been shined so brightly that it has caused people to not even see clearly. Uh, it's too bright. And so uh, it, it'd be helpful to like uh, bring peace with the words that you're saying about communities like ours instead of unrest. We're listening to our constituents. We're not ignoring the problems. Uh, and, you know, we just appreciate more of a positive light for our community. Again, we're not ignoring the concerns. We just don't need such a bright, bright light shined in our community that's causing unrest and, and, and a lack of peace. Okay, and I also just want to say that uh, the governor was, was on another program today, and Governor DeWine, and he said that people need to stop talking about eating dogs and cats. I'm guessing, based on what you just said, you agree with that. A hundred percent. I mean, it's, it's, it's a rumor that has been debunked. It is even the person that posted uh, the, the initial, uh, you know, cat situation has said that, you know, it was not true. It, it was not, it was, it was very poor taste and judgment to do it, but they admitted it. And I appreciate that. Um, Mayor Rue, thank you so much for coming on. I can't even imagine how difficult it is. You're a mayor of a very small town and uh, you have a lot on your plate. The way you describe that bright spotlight is, is really telling. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Thanks for your time.